Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about the relationship between slew rate and rise time. Uh, we have previously seen how bandwidth affects uh, the speed of an amplifier measured by its rise time, the time that it takes for the output to go uh, from an initial value to a final value after a change in the input. And uh, slew rate also affects the rise time. And so we'll talk about the slew rates and rise time. So again, if we have an, an input signal, uh, which we apply a step signal, basically to determine how fast uh, our output will go from an initial value to a final value after the step input is applied. So I have my step, which goes up at uh, some value of time t0. So basically I can express this mathematically as uh, V in equals the, the final amplitude times u of t minus t0, where u is the step function, and this value here will be final value capital VI. If my op amp is suffering exclusively from slew rate limitations, what I expect will happen is that my V out as a function of time is going to look something like this time t0, it'll start changing and get to a final value. That will be um, the final value capital V out. Now, for an amplifier that has a smaller slew rate, meaning its output cannot change as fast, basically I will have something like this. Uh, whereas this will be the slew rate of amplifier 2, the first one will be the slew rate of amplifier 1, SR1, where SR1 is greater than SR2. And in fact, the slew rate um, is equal to the slope of this line. So that slope will be SR1, and the slope of the green line will be the slew rate of the second amplifier. Uh, the rise time is defined, again, as the time that it takes for the output voltage to go from 10% of its final value to 90% of its final value. Um, and so in this case, it will be, let's say, this is 0.1 times the final VO. And this is 0.9 times the final capital VO. Uh, in this case, the, uh, the rise time, which we're going to refer to as TSR, and the reason for that is because it's the rise time due to the slow rate limitation as opposed to earlier when it was due to the bandwidth limitation. And that's going to be equal to the delta V out divided by uh, the slow rate. Since essentially we have seen the slow rate um, is going to be equal to the uh, TSR divided by delta V out. Now, the uh, delta V out in this case is going to be from 90% to 10%. And, um, and that's about it. Things to notice uh, is that in the case of the bandwidth limitation, uh, the rise time was dependent on the gain of the amplifier. In the case of the slow rate, it's independent of the gain of the amplifier. It's exclusively dependent on the uh, peak voltage level. And so, uh, perhaps I'll add that as a note. Uh, TSR is independent of the closed loop bandwidth. Um, oh, excuse me. Of oh, the closed loop gain, I meant. Also the closed loop bandwidth, but TSR is independent of uh, closed loop bandwidth and dependent on um, capital V out, the maximum level of V out, whereas TCL was uh, independent of uh, maximum output levels, but it was dependent on uh, the gain, so independent of maximum V out, but dependent on ACL. Uh, and so again, uh, we have two different effects 
both affecting the rise time of an amplifier, which goes to the maximum operating speed of the amplifier. Uh, the, the one that we are going to take as a true rise time is going to be uh, the most extreme one. And so, um, in this case, the, the one that is uh, having the highest effect, either the bandwidth or the slow rate, that's going to be the one that we are going to consider uh, the true rise time of the amplifier. Thank you.